full of traffic. All right, thank you, Bob. As the Verona School District finalizes design plans on its new $163 million high school, it will bid farewell to one of the district's first schools. A one-room brick schoolhouse north of the city is going to be demolished to make way for highway improvements. A line of evergreen screens the old Gordon School from the thousands of motorists that pass through the intersection of County Trunk M and Midtown Road every day. But the school becomes visible from the air, surrounded by houses and more trees. There's been a school on this corner for over 150 years. And the view has changed dramatically over the years. Here's the same intersection 60 years ago. The president of the Verona Historical Society met us there. Jesse Charles says the original school was built after 12 farm families decided they wanted a school of their own back in 1859. One of the settlers, uh, Isaac Newton, who owned this land, donated this half acre here for the school. And what's interesting is, of 12 families, one of them voted against this plan, and it was Thomas Gordon who they ended up naming the building after, <laughs> which there's some irony there we haven't figured out yet, but there's a good story there. They had a teacher, was paid, uh, I think, $80 a year, and all the farm families, names you've seen on roads uh, around town, Marty, um, Drager would come here and you'd go to school from first grade to eighth grade and you'd uh, go to high school down in Verona. All in one room? All in one room. They had a kitchen off to the side with a little stove that uh, the kids, um, you hear those stories about walking uphill both ways in the snow? This is where that happened. That actually <laughs> happened here. And they would take their little lunches and little pails and they'd freeze solid. And I know this because I've talked to them. And they would bring it in. The teacher would, would put it in a vat of of water hooked up to the stove in the and warm them up and by lunch you'd have your sandwich would be unfrozen but this building is not the original this is not um they're one of the great stories of verona history legends which which is true we've talked to people again so in 1928 there was a a teacher mrs seeley was here for her first term and she had 10 to 12 students in there depending on which account you read and it was a warm september day and they opened up the windows because it was getting so humid and very soon it started raining it started hailing wind started blowing and what they didn't know was there was a tornado that touched down about 40 miles to the west and was heading this direction, destroyed several farms on the way here. Well, Miss Seely put the windows down, got all the kids in the back corner there uh, around the piano. Tornado came and ripped off, we think, the west side of the building, dropped it down a few hundred feet away, and the whole wooden structure pancaked and collapsed. Luckily, though, because the kids and the teacher were around the piano, no one died. Uh, the next year, they took out a loan from the Verona Bank for about $7,000. Men of the district bought materials, started building this schoolhouse, kind of like the Three Little Pigs. They knocked down your wood one, you come <laughs> back with brick. And this time, they had a basement as well. The previous one did not. And they were able to open up the next year, but they ran out of money for supplies. Um, the area mothers, this goes back to the whole community aspect of these rural schools, they came up with a program where they would sell these little squares on a quilt for 10 cents a signature, and they would embroider your signature. And uh, that raised about $15, which back in 1929, that got a lot of school supplies, and they were able to buy supplies for the school. Um, uh, this is the actual quilt. This is the quilt, 10 cents per signature. And a lot of the kids who are in the... Um, Oh, there's a Gordon right there. A lot of the kids who are in the tornado, their names are on here and their family members because it was a cool community pride thing. You know, mm. 10 cents, get your name on there. Who saved it? The quilt itself was auctioned off and a man named Drager won it. Uh, the story is either his sons or people working as a state found it, recognized the name Miller on it, which if you're in Verona, you know the Miller mm -hmm. name, found a Miller, gave it to them, and then they had it for a while, and then the Millers donated about five years ago to the Historical Society. Mm. The building stopped being a school after the 1965-66 school year when 11 students attended the last classes. It became a private residence, and inside was remodeled into a family home with a big kitchen, a living room with a huge vaulted ceiling, and dormers were added for bedrooms upstairs. But this was the main entrance, and up until a couple months ago, there was a sign here saying District 11, 1929. Um, luckily, we wanted to make sure that sign got saved. The family who most recently lived here, um, they kind of saved it as a memento of their all, all their children grew up, which we think is great. We just wanted to make sure it didn't end up in like a landfill. Um, but that was right there for all that time. And this part of the building, aside from the windows changing up there, looks a lot like it did in our oldest photograph. The intersection of M and Midtown is being expanded to add multiple turn lanes and a sidewalk that would bring it right up to the building's foundation, making living there almost impossible. And while the school does have historical significance, it isn't practical to save it. We know that to save this building, 
we'd have to move it. Um, just lifting it would cost thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars. We have to have a place to put it. We need to build a foundation. We need volunteers. But the way we can save it, save it, is we can get stories and we can get pictures and we can record that and save it. And at our tour on Friday, we're going to be interviewing older residents, like we have um, Virginia Marty, who grew up on the Marty farm. Her name's Whit now. She went to school here in the thirties, and we've interviewed her. And if we can save the stories and take pictures and interview, then at least hundred years from now, we might have the building. Hopefully, we'll have a plaque here. I think. Um, but we'll be able to play those tapes and people will be able to kind of experience it. Saving the past. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Doing what you can. And that tour for Gordon School is tomorrow at the Verona Senior Center, 12.30, talk and discussion. 2 o'clock, there's school tours. To sign up, call the Verona Senior Center, 845-7471. You have to sign up, though. There'll be no parking at the school. They're going to shuttle you from the Verona Senior Center. What an amazing story. Yeah, it really is. I've driven past that a million times. Who hasn't? Never knew that. And now oh. you know the rest of the story. And we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast. Hey!